Fred Rowe from Sarah Bright Dot Fly Fishing Guide Service. I've been teaching, guiding, riding, and lecturing on fly fishing since 1982. We're on a little warming trend. That means there's a few insects hatching, no snow on the ground. We can drive and access almost anywhere. Speaking of spots I can access, Upper Owens River. Last year at this time, it was no driving up to the spots you had to hike in because there was that much snow on the ground. This week, I've driven to the Upper Owens. Well, how's it fishing? Guess what? It's good. Gotta work hard, but there's big fish in the river. We're seeing 16 to 22 inch rainbows and browns up there. What are they feeding on? Well, I like fishing the stoner nymph and the green gold wire prince nymph. My guide Richard, he likes fishing a variation of a gold ripped hairs there and a squirmy wormy. And that's working for him. So there's a lot of flies up there that are working. You just gotta cover a lot of water, work those deep holes, the deep runs, and the cut banks. And that's where you're gonna find the fish. Over at Hot Creek, water looks great. Down in the canyon, my favorite area to fish, it's a little more gradient. The fish aren't quite as hard to catch, even though they're still picky on what they're taking. And what are they feeding on? They're feeding on midges and mayfly nymphs. So I'm using the beadhead flashback pheasant tail, hotspot pheasant tail, olive quildagon, and then tiger midges and zebra midges. Down the hill, Lower Owens River, still out at 450-ish CFS, but with no snow on the ground, we might get lucky and see it drop first of the year down under 300. As soon as it drops, you know I'm gonna run out there and go fish. And if it does drop and we get to fish it, I'm gonna fish with midges and mayfly imitations. Okay, over to Bishop Creek Canal. What are we fishing in there? Well, same old, same old. We're fishing pheasant tail nymphs. We're fishing the hot spot pheasant tail. We're fishing the olive quildagon, tiger midges, and zebra midges. And we're catching little brown trout from eight to 12 inches. Well, with no snow on the ground and the opportunity to go check other things out, I'm looking at a few of the other spots. Little creeks in the foothills like Pine Creek, it's producing. We had a great day fishing midge dry flies. Anytime I get to fish a dry fly in the month of December, that's a great day. Well, this has been Fred Rowe from Sierra Bright Dot Fly Fishing Guide Service. I can be found on Instagram, Facebook, or at Mahogany Smoked Meats from the 9 to 11 on Tuesdays or on LPP. TV.us.